the largest driver of soil health is live roots and live root exudates. My goal is to try to not have an acre see the same thing anymore than twice. You know, as soon as we get the, a crop out of the field, we're chasing behind the combine and the cotton picker with a grain drill to put whatever our cover mix is going to be. So we're drilling all of our acres, getting that in. We let it grow until the day before we're going to plant it. So, I mean, we're rolling it down, planting into it green, coming back behind it, terminating it. One of the interesting things that we've been able to do is actually to, to stop uh, mowing our cotton stalks. And I just take a grain drill and run it through those cotton stalks standing, and it gives the cover a really nice trellis to grow on, to come up. When we come back in and roll them down, I mean, they shatter and they're sized into three and four inch pieces. Right behind the corn combine, we started doing the summer cover. That summer cover, it's unbelievable how it can grow. Two months and it's overhead high. I think all the benefits it's bringing, it looks really good, the wheat looks really good. So over in the fall, after I get my cotton pick and we throw out our cover, when I roll back down the winter cover, I mean, it's just clean as it can be. You know, you got your winter cover on the ground, but the stalk, cotton stalk's no problem at all. That's a trip where I've been mowing everything. Yes, sir. Don't have to mow anymore. But my whole idea is if I can get something, the roots live growing into the, into the soil, don't worry too much about the biomass as much as you want those live roots in that soil. I think that's more critical. I think most of us always thought that biomass was the key. You, a, lot of, a lot of above ground, a lot of plant, a lot of mass, and then that rots down, breaks down, that builds soil. Well, we've learned that that's really not the case. <laughs> Uh, the largest driver of soil health is live roots and live root exudates and what and what they're pumping into into that biology you know that's why diversity is so key because buckwheat only does a narrow range of things and radish a, a range of things but you put them all together you put 10 12 different things and different root types and and characteristics and growth habits and all of that and you get you get that diversity and that's actually what drives the soil organic matter increase is live root exudates. That summertime growing window, when you stop and think about that in the southeast, that once that combine runs, if you go out there and plant a multi-species blend, you get all that free rain and sunshine and long growing days, all of those root exudates building soil biology, you get weed suppression. You get nutrient scavenging, you know, what's left over from that corn crop that it didn't use, you take it back up and store it in something else. It's incredible, that August, September, October time frame. Yeah. Uh, if you're a corn grower, that's the one thing I wish every corn grower in the Southeast knew.